friends for joining me back at my channel today. We are going to do an art journal page and first off I'm going to do a flip through on this art journal um, that I'm working in today and I will link it below. It's really nice. It's got heavy duty paper in it and um, Unfortunately, I took off the cover because it was getting uh, quite damaged, so I'm going to work in it, and then I'll put the cover back on, so you'll see that in a later video. Uh, after we do the flip through, I'll show you what I've dug out for my inspiration for today and how we're going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you... Um, what is coming up in the future on my channel? Uh, I believe next Saturday we're going to start on another art journal and it's going to be called a gardener's journal. Now spring is definitely in the air here in Wisconsin and I want to create a gardener's journal uh, for myself, I'm going to actually use it. I'm going to make it and I'm going to use it instead of setting it aside and just, you know, looking at these beautiful journals. I'm making it so that I can actually use it. So I'm going to show you the products that um, I've got um, in a pile for the gardener's journal in case you want to create along with me. Um, there are some things that you would uh, need to purchase. Of course, I'll do the links below in my description, but you may have things that will work. So use what you have is what I always like to say. Um, but some people, you know, want to go ahead and get exactly the same things, and that's fine. But first off, we're going to just do a real quick flip through here on this journal and find some maybe colors that are in this color palette because this piece of paper uh, is out of a magazine and this is kind of what I want to go on today. I, I want to go with these colors so we'll see what happens. So this is one by Art Bar Marlene. This is a real old one. It says, to live a creative life, we must lose our fear of being wrong. And it's got these real cute flowers in there. This one I did in 2018. So it's nice to keep track of those dates. I don't do it very often. This one, of course, is needs to be done. This one here, um, Seek Beauty in All Things. That was a real quick one. There's a video on that video on this too are by Marlene when you feel out of sorts create this lady lost her head here <laughs> super super old one hasn't been worked on yet this one is quite old I think there's a video creativity takes courage this something I was playing around with you can see I was wiping my papers uh, my paints off on here but look at this it's got quite a few of those colors. It's got that, um, uh, this, uh, burgundy color. It's got the green. It's got this, uh, um, oh, what color would that be? Uh, goldish color. So this could be a possibility. This one's really old. I just need to finish it. Just nothing much on here. This one I have a video on. It says, My Garden Feeds My Soul. I did a class for at the uh, Park and Rec last year. Learn to pause or nothing worthwhile will catch up to you. That was pretty cool. This one, again, has those colors on there. That, that could be an option. This has uh, just numbers with some crackle paste on. That could be doable. This one just has some oranges and reds. I was cleaning off my palette. Super old one here. You can see I have lots of space yet to work in this one. This one has the same colors, but this one's really fall to me, and I, and I don't want to do a fall. I kind of want to do a more springy type. This one has a real great texture in there. Uh, 
just backgrounds that I haven't worked on. Here's a fall one. Nothing much here. This has got some green and blue. Nothing much. I think I'm going to go back, perhaps. This one's a nice one. She decided to stop letting her fear hold her back. That was a fun one. I've got stuff falling all over on my desk today. But that's a cool paper. I have the sun coming in on my uh, my desk here. It feels good. And this is definitely not the right color. So I think I'm going to go back to this. And this will be the page that we create on. This is going to be the colors that we're going to work with. Um, I have a Stampers Anonymous uh, stamp set here, and this is called Ponderings. And the stamp I wanted to use is already on my Misty here. It says, you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. So I stamped that with my Misty, and that's going to be my sentiment. So we're going to use that. And I have had this stamp in my stash for months now and haven't used it by Stampendous. It's a six by six cling rubber stamp. And the name of it, I do not know, but it is super neat. It's got a really great um, style there. So I think I'm going to combine all of that together. But first I want to show you, or second I guess, what I'm going to use for my um, art journal on Saturday. And it's probably going to take a few weeks to complete this because if anyone knows about these uh, traveler journals, they um, take a bit to do. So here's one open, and it's got three um, notebooks inside of the cover. And I'm going to just gently take it out. I do have a video um, on making one of these, and I'll link it above here. And also, I will link um, these in the description. 1550, it's got the cover and the three notebooks that come in it. They're by Graphic 45. Uh, great, great value. They've got pockets already in them. The things have pockets in. It's going to be a really fun project. So if you want to um, go ahead and work along with me, this is going to start next week um, on Saturday. And if you um, have this, get it out. And what else I'm going to use is lots of things that I thought would be for in the garden, for a garden journal. So I dug out all these papers. These got real garden theme going on. So dig out anything, pattern paper that you can think of for garden. Um, I have this old calendar that I've been cutting up and it has wonderful garden pictures so this is going to be really really fun to use in this garden journal here is a big 12 by 12 pad and it's got lots of bird houses and birds and lots of things for the garden feel so dig those things out if you want to create along with me starting next Saturday. Um, I did dye some cheesecloth with some coffee. I have some tea bags that we're going to incorporate in there. I have a bag of just things. Um, a broken bracelet. There's, you know, little tags and all kinds of things. I've got some um, chain that I'm going to use, 
in it. It's going to be super, super fun. And like I said, it's going to take a few weeks to go ahead and do that. Also, another thing that I know I'm going to use are these green file folders. Uh, my husband would part with two, so I guess that's all I can use. But it has this brown on the inside and the green on the outside. And I'll link uh, above here the technique. And if you're going to plan on um, doing this with me, go ahead and follow this video up here. And it'll show you how to use this file folder and make the coolest um, like leather suede paper that I'm going to use to cover my um, garden journal. So lots of homework for you if you want to follow along with me. That would be absolutely amazing. And I think it will be really quite fun. Um, it's getting to be that time of year where it's kind of hard to get into our craft rooms because pretty soon we'll be out in the garden and weeding and raking and all of that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, this will be kind of like the end of the winter, beginning of the spring. So, a few Saturdays in a row, we'll have small little sections working on that art journal. Uh, the garden journal is what we'll call it. Okay, so I'm going to get my paints together, get my work area set up, and we're going to get started. This is going to be a really quick uh, art journal page, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I picked out my colors, and these are the colors. I've got Arteza Dark Teal, uh, Distress Paint by Tim Holtz, Fossilized Amber, uh, Dina Wakely Acrylic Paint, Eggplant, and a um, Grass Green by Stamperia. I pulled out some white gesso. I have a damp towel, and I have a paintbrush. And my water container and here is what we had for the colors so I know they work together because they're picked out for me in this article that I was looking at now this peachy and the gray does not work for me here so I'm just going to use a plastic palette and I just recycle these uh, they're just from uh, lids from Tupperware and I'm going to put my paints out on the palette and I'm just going to go for it. This may not turn out to be anything. It may turn out to be cool. Who knows? You know, I don't have any idea what is going to happen here. I just liked those colors so I thought I would use that color palette and we would go ahead and see what happened. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint out. See these paints are ooh, getting kind of old. I love this, uh, these two colors together. And we'll just see what happens. Set those aside. And I got this gesso, white gesso from Little Birdie uh, Company. And I'll link it below. They've got some really great stuff. So I'm trying that out um, to see what I think of it. Um, I did open it. And do did a little um, unboxing in our uh, Facebook group, which is called Everything Paper and Glue. I just wanted to show the group what I got because lots of the ladies were um, purchasing stuff through Little Birdie. And I wanted to know what all the hubbub was about. So I'm just going to cover up some of that that I don't like. And my brush was a little wet, so it's reacting. 
I don't mind. This is just going to be a fun art journal page. Um, this is just to have me create. This is not a masterpiece by any means. We're going to see how this goes. And I'm surprised that all of these paints are reacting with my water. I'm just going to put this underneath to protect the rest of my book. Uh, yeah, I'm very surprised that this gesso is making this paint react. But like I said, my brush was a little wet. I think this middle part is a perfect spot to put some of that blue in there, huh? And we're just creating a background here. Simple, simple. Just letting it take us where it, where it may. So I'm excited about starting that garden journal uh, next Saturday. I am really excited about getting out in my garden. I don't have vegetables. I have all flowers, um, mostly perennials. I don't plant very many annuals, but uh, that's just what I have time for. So that is how it will be. I am not thinking here. I'm just really doing whatever is working for me. And if we get to the end and nothing worked, well, I would be surprised with that. Because it's an art journal and this is where we just go ahead and have fun, right? Put a little bit more blue over here. It's a pretty cool background. I am going to give this a dry. Be right back. Okay, this is this is dry, and um, I'm sitting at my desk, and I'm like, okay, kind of need a focal point, because, you know, this is just a background. Obviously, we've got more work to do here, but I pull open my drawer with my stash, and here's a package of just pieces of things that I've cut out, and look at how that just, bam, has all the colors in there that it needs. Didn't that just work out great? I've got butterflies in here. I've got dragonflies. I've got just regular flowers. Just all kinds of things that I've cut out of, like, maybe um, greeting cards or... Oh, this is neat, too. Look at that teacup. That has all the colors in there. And what does my sentiment say that I wanted to use? What you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. I think I'm going to keep with the flower, but that's a really great thing, and that just came out of a calendar. So remember to always be cutting out these things, and I just have a drawer here over to the side, and I just keep piling them in the drawer. Um, I also was feeling that I wanted a little bit of stenciling with texture, so here I need to put down, I'm thinking, a little bit of white, just to kind of calm this down. I'm going to use my gesso that I got because um, I want to use that a little bit more, and 
of course we want to use this stamp too. So I'm going to put a little bit of white down. And I was thinking of maybe using my brayer. How does that sound? And I'll put that on with my a dry brush. This is a just dry paintbrush. And I'm just going to put some white down just to add another... layer. I don't want those colors to get too muted though, like pastel colors. So we want to be careful with that. Um, this gesso I'm feeling is a bit uh, transparent for me, but that's good to know. I feel that we could go ahead and use this big stamp. Now see how that black? I don't know where that came from, but obviously it wanted to be on my paper. And now I feel like just doing a little bit of finger painting. So that's what I'm going to do. I have to leave here in a little while um, before the pandemic started. I took a real temporary uh, position at the lacrosse center is where they have events. And I only got to work uh, I think maybe two or possibly three events because, you know, everything got shut down. Well, um, the lacrosse center opened again last week. So they're having the state basketball tournaments. And I got to work last week and I get to work tonight. So it's just a quick little four hour shift and it was nice to go back and see the people that I got to work a little bit with before the pandemic and um, the tips are really really good and so it just puts a little money in my pocket you know everybody likes a little money in their pocket um, so I'm going to do that tonight. That gives me about 45 minutes to work on this. And really, the creating isn't the part that takes the longest for me. It's the editing of the video and putting those links in and getting it uploaded to YouTube. That's what takes the long time for me. I'm not uh, super fantastic at it yet, but I'm getting there. Alright, so that white gesso is changing the color here on my paint. That means that it is a little um, wet yet, so I'm just going to use a different gesso. My desk is quite messy and I just cleaned my craft room last week but I think that's inevitable you know you clean it you mess it up you clean it you mess it up you clean it you mess it up I'm going to just use this dry brush and try and add a little bit of this other white in there I want a little white but I don't want it to turn pastel on me is that a word, pastelli? <laughs> okay. That's good. I'm going to use my big stamp here that I have been wanting to use for so long. And we're going to get rid of this. And I'm just going to give this a quick dry. That background is pretty cool, I think.
I want to put the black underneath the white. Dry both sides. And maybe it's meant to go like this. Let's see with our flower. Have that off center like that. I kind of like it that way. And then what else do we got? Our sentiment. I'm going to use my big scissors and cut this out. Save my scrap, of course. What you think you become. What you feel you attract. And what you imagine you create. Those are some good sentiments, huh? I don't know if I'm going to cut them apart or not. We'll see. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm looking forward to going back to the lacrosse center tonight. And I just do concessions. I do have my bartender's license now, so I can do that too, but right now they're just doing small events and just getting started. Lots of um, hand washing, face masks, uh, sanitizer, you know, packaged foods, things of that nature, but yeah, I think I like it this way better. So let's go ahead and put this stamped image down. Clean off my desk a little bit. Move some things. And see what this looks like. I haven't used it at all. And where did I get it? Um, I got it on a swap that we were having, uh, not a swap, but a used craft sale that we were having on um, our Facebook group, again, which is everything paper and glue. You can check that out, and you can um, answer the questions and be a part of that if you want to. Answer the questions, though, or I can't let you in. I think I'm going to put it down here. See how it turns out. I haven't stamped with this, like I said. We got lots of paint left if it doesn't turn out good. Ooh. Cool, huh? And I think I will go ahead and stamp the bottom portion up at the top. Some texture there, isn't it? I'm gonna give that a quick wipe. I think that'll be really great just on a white background too. I'm gonna keep that out on top of my desk. So I use it again. I've got this hair in my face. I'm sorry. I'm gonna give that just a quick dry. It's archival ink and it dries really, really fast. But um I don't want to smudge a bunch. I'm going to kind of lay this out and see how I like it. I like it kind of hanging off a bit. And then... I think I just like what you imagine you create. So I'm going to save those. I'm going to throw them right in my drawer here. And uh, I'm just going to use these two. Or this one part of it. I'm going to cut it down. And that's going to be my sentiment. What you imagine you create. 
Okay, so that's going to go there. And I like that just right there at the bottom. But I do want to use this stencil, and I kind of wanted to put some texture in there. So I'm going to focus up here and down here so that it would go underneath this flower. And I want to use some modeling paste and give it some dimension. So I'm going to grab a palette knife and set these aside now that we have a plan, right? And I'm going to use this. Cool. So I said over here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The light's in your way there. The sun is shining in. So it looks busy, but when we put this here and this here, I think it mellows it out. I want a little bit behind my flower so that we have that visual triangle, right? We always talk about that. And maybe just a hint here. Yeah. I'm liking it. Great. Okay. I'm going to give this a quick wipe with my damp towel that I have here. And I'll find out what the name of this stencil is for you. I use this one a lot. I like that texture. It's really great. This is going to need to dry. So, in the meantime, I'm going to try and put this down carefully. I think like this. I'm going to use my matte gel and I'm trying not to bump these here. Cleaning off my gesso and I'm going to put matte gel on the back here. And you can see this was from a calendar. Just giving it a good stick down. And I'm going to go over the top of it also. And you may think that I'm kind of rushing this. I'm not trying to. But I want this to have time to dry when I'm at work tonight. And then I'll be able to finish it tomorrow. Or maybe later tonight and then get it uploaded because tomorrow's Friday already. <laughs> Weeks have been going real fast. Everybody's really looking forward to spring. Now for me this looks a little uh, bright. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm just going to put it down then what you imagine you create kind of like it a little crooked on the bottom there okay so that's going to give this all time to dry 
some macho on there. And then, when it's all dry, we will come and shade around this flower and our sentiment. I'm sure we'll probably do a black border because that's what I do. And we may even use some of this black um, ink with airbrush medium and kind of follow the design on this flower and cut off our edge. And we'll see how that works. I think it will be neat. So, so far so good. And I'll go to work and you guys enjoy the time and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. Okay, hi, I'm back, you guys. Here's how it's looking. We're going to do the finishing touches here, and then um, we'll be all set for the finished product. I think it's nice. Super quick and easy. So I've got my 6B Extra Soft General's Charcoal Pencil. I'm going to go around the edge, and I'm going to smudge it with my finger and give that definition um, some depth there to the flower. Super easy. Uh, last night was fun at the La Crosse Center. It's a real quick thing. Uh, the basketball game was only till about 8.30 or so. so yeah, just three hours. Kind of nice to get in the swing of things again and just do a real fast little program. So, yep, now I'm going to finish this video and then off to work at the daycare. And then I can have it uploading while I'm gone. Still got a bit of that cold hanging on. Alright. So I was thinking we only had a very few products. We had acrylic paint. We had uh, w one stamp. Two stamps because of the sentiment. That's right. And a stencil. And then these finishing products here, which is something you probably already have in your stash if you're doing any mixed media or art journaling. So, yeah. Easy, easy. Alright, I'm going to go around the words. I like how it makes it pop there. And a little bit here. I think that white stenciling gave the piece quite a bit. There, that looks good. Now I'm going to go around the edges with my black chalk writer. And I am going to put this down. It makes it a little easier. I just go on the edge and then I smudge it with my finger. I just like the finished look of that. I like that border. And then stay tuned for some pictures at the end. And I hope you um, got a couple ideas out of this, how it's so easy just to create something real quick and easy. I like how it turned out. I am going to use my... 
uh, black acrylic paint with some airbrush medium in it. Of course, my needle is sticking in there. Maybe I won't be using it. Oh, there I came out. Okay, gonna test it on here. It's working. And then I'm just gonna go over the lines that's on this piece from the calendar. It's got these squiggly lines on it. And I just thought I would define those a little bit. It just adds another layer of dimension, right? Cool. Yeah. I like it. That stamp really looks good in the background, too. Stay tuned for the pictures at the end, and hopefully you'll join me next Saturday, and we'll work on that garden journal. Um, like I said, it's going to be probably a few weeks long for that garden journal, so um, I hope that's something you might be interested in doing. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for joining me. And have a super great weekend. And let's look forward to spring. Okay? Thanks, you guys. Bye.